Story of the Buddha Seventy one. The Buddha taught people for forty five years. He traveled to different kingdoms in India, always on foot. During the rainy seasons, he stayed at monasteries built for him and the Sangha by different supporters. The places the Buddha stayed at most often were Veluvana, near Rajagaha, and Jatavana, near Savathi. During all these years, the Buddha worked hard every day to spread the teachings. Seventy-two. The Buddha usually got up before sunrise, took a bath, and then contemplated on whom to teach. When he found someone ready to understand and accept the teaching, he would go and teach that person the same day. After sunrise, the Buddha went to beg for alms from people in the neighborhood. Sometimes he went alone, and sometimes with his monks. Some people also invited him to their homes to accept offerings. After the meal, he taught them the Dharma. Then he returned to the monastery. Seventy-three. Back at the monastery, the Buddha rested quietly in the hall, under a tree or in his room, waiting for the monks to return from their alms round. When all the monks and nuns had assembled in the hall he gave a Dharma talk or just encouraged them to practice the Dharma. Some monks also asked him for personal instructions for their dharma practice. The Buddha then considered their natures and gave to each of them the individual advice that suited them best. Seventy-four. In the summertime, the people from the neighborhood used to visit him in the evenings. Some came to offer him gifts, others to hear his teachings. The Buddha taught them the Dharma using skillful language, so that everyone would benefit. After the talk everyone would feel happy and satisfied. Seventy-five. After the people left, the Buddha usually took a bath. Then he would meditate for some time. After that, he would instruct monks who came from other places. He helped them to understand the difficult parts of the Dharma and so made them very happy. At sunset, the Buddha usually went for a walk to refresh himself. 
After this he would again give talks to his monks. Late at night, distinguished people, such as kings, came for advice and instruction in the Dharma. Seventy six. After this, the Buddha went to sleep, usually for four hours only. He slept on his right side and woke up before sunrise. Then he entered into deep meditation to explore the natures of his audience for that day. Seventy seven. The Buddha always worked very hard to spread the Dharma. When he was not traveling, he spent time not only explaining the Dharma, but also in helping people to solve their daily problems. He was always willing to help people from any station in life, whether they were a housewife, a farmer, or just somebody in need of help. Seventy-eight. The Buddha was never reluctant to answer difficult questions or explain complicated problems. He never felt irritated by the person asking questions, and always was able to answer correctly. The Buddha always explained the Dharma in a way that was most suited to the natures of his listeners. He welcomed all people. Many who doubted him at first became convinced of the truth of his teaching. They then became his loyal disciples. Seventy nine. After 45 years of traveling and teaching, the Buddha had reached his 80th year. Although his mind was strong, he felt that his body was getting weaker. He realized that his life was coming to an end. So he decided to go north to the foothills of the Himalayas, the region where he was born. He wished to enter the final nirvana, or freedom from suffering. On the way north, the Buddha and Ananda stopped in the Bamboo Grove village, in the kingdom of Pateli. The Buddha decided to stay there for the rainy season. Eighty. During his stay in the village the Buddha fell seriously ill. After he recovered, he told Ananda, Ananda, by now the saying I should know the way to practice be able to check their practice and attain nirvana. I do not keep any secrets. With all my heart I wish the best for all the monks and nuns. I am an old man now. You should depend on yourselves. You should rely on the Dharma. 